COVID has taken this year, just since the outbreak, has taken more than 100 years. Look, here's the lives. It's just, it's, I mean, you think about it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Think about it. I'm being serious, man. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Zeducation, and welcome to a special episode where we're going to cover the top 10 gaffes, blunders, and brain blips from Joe Biden, the most popular president of all time. And before we do that, Joe Biden's popularity quickly dried up after he took office. And this is evident in the polls. In one of the most recent polls from November, Biden's approval dips to 36% in new Quinnipiac poll. And you don't have to go far on social media to find people saying stuff like this. I regret my vote for Biden. I can't believe I voted for Biden. This got me hot. And why did I vote for Biden? Not to mention people saying stuff like this. You go onto YouTube and you find popularity like this in July. Look at this ratio on the the most popular president of all time. They have to turn the comments off on the White House YouTube channel because they're getting so much uh, popular feedback. And then you see this ratio here. This is on every single video on that channel. But it looks like this now because YouTube took away the dislike button. So it definitely helped the White House YouTube channel in that sense. uh, Because now you don't get to see the uh, unpopularity on the channel on every single video. And the best part about all of this is you see this very unpopular person in the White House. It's evident. It's everywhere. But this is how the media covers him. Mr. President, what did you order? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, Oh, you can hear, listen to the journalists. Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, Oh. (laughs) this was 2021 in a nutshell. You see the unpopularity everywhere. You, you ask people who voted for him, who are like, yeah, this is not good. And uh, then that's how they cover him in the media. The journalists, you just, you gotta love it. But back to today's top 10. We gotta go over his most viral blunders of the year. And as always with these videos, if you cringe, you lose. You guys accept it. He's the most popular president of all time. So accept all of this. It's just, you know, It's just Joe being Joe, man. Come on, man. If you accept the terms of today's game, you cringe, you lose. Head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's video. If you cringe, you lose. Go. Number 10. Throughout the entire year, you can find many, many clips of Joe Biden seeming disheveled even with the teleprompter. But here is an example of what I'm talking about. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway, we're going to get a lot done. Don't question it, guys. He's all there. He's 110% healthy. Same guy at 79 that he was when he was 30, okay? It's obvious. Number nine. Combined with the blanks in his uh, thoughts, he's been doing very weird things like this with his behavior. I got them $1.9 trillion relief so far. They're going to be getting checks in the mail that are consequential. I wrote the bill on the environment. Pay them more. This is an employee's, employee's bargaining chip now. What's happening? What's happening, Joe? I don't know. Why are you whispering like this? What are you doing? Number eight. Speaking of odd behavior, in this clip with Anderson Cooper on the CNN town hall, it was a gift to the meme lords everywhere. Check this out. About that, with just in terms of inflation, because you had told uh, us at a town hall, I think it was in July, that the in, this was just near-term inflation. The Wall Street Journal recently talks to like 67 uh, financial experts who said that they, they saw high inflation going all the way, or deep into 2022. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Completely normal behavior. Everyone does this in interviews. They stand there like this, clenching their fists. Like I said, with this brought many great memes. 
here's just a few. Got uh, Cornholio here. He's going skiing on this one. Someone made him riding a horse. <laughs> and then he's lifting off. Which is perfect because he's a space cadet. So, number seven. On a more serious one here on number seven. With these brain blips come this type of behavior in very serious situations. If you remember when we withdrew from Afghanistan, soldiers died at that command. At Joe Biden's direction, soldiers died. And when those caskets came home, this is what he was doing during the ceremony. Checking his watch multiple times. But da, 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 the fact checkers came in to try and save him. Tried. Fact check. Biden honored service members killed in Kabul. Checked watch only after ceremony. And this got so much backlash because people were there. They got to see Biden acting like this with their own eyes. And these fact checkers, fact checkers, they had to retract their fact check with this. Corrections and clarifications. This story was updated September 2nd to note that Biden checked his watch multiple times at the dignified transfer event, including during the ceremony itself. So much respect for the soldiers that he just had to check his watch multiple times, see where, you know, he had places to be and places to go, even though he, at his direction, these soldiers died. And then you have the media doing their best to cover it up, doing their best to help him out and backfiring gloriously. And on Afghanistan, here's another uh, disheveled thought from Biden when uh, asked about Afghanistan. We went for two reasons. One, to bring Osama bin Laden to the gates of hell, as I said at the time. The second reason was to eliminate Al-Qaeda's capacity to deal with more attacks in the United States from that territory. We accomplished both of those objectives. Have faith, guys. Have faith. He's, uh, he's, at, he's working at 100% capacity, obviously. Number six. In one of my favorite clips of the year, we have this, where uh, we kind of can tell a little bit what he says, what it sounds like at least, but the jury is still out. Immigration. A pathway for citizenship. Now, Joe, uh, it sounds like you said my butt's been wiped. Um, let's just take a look one more time. Let's listen here. What'd you say here? Can we get some clarification? Um... Let's try to turn the subtitles on. What does the AI say? Does the AI say my butt's been wiped? I, I haven't checked yet. If, if it does, why did you say that? What kind of joke is that? It doesn't make any sense. Number five. Joe is in control, guys. Inflation. Remember how that narrative started? It's not going to happen. Oh, oh, never mind. It's going to be transitory. And now, well, before we get to now, here's what Joe and how he was trying to control the narrative desperately. Pretty confident that, that inflation is temporary, but if you're pumping all of this money into the economy, couldn't that add to? No, the, the, look, here's the deal. Moody's today, when our Wall Street firm, not some liberal think tank, said if we pass the other two things I'm trying to get done, we will in fact reduce inflation. Reduce inflation. Reduce inflation. Look, here's the deal, man. Reduce. Reduce inflation. But the truth is, is here's where we are right now at the end of the year. Inflation near 40 year high. Shocks Americans, spooks Washington. Come on, man. You said it was Indian transitor, man. You had it under control, man. Do whatever you can. You desperately try to control the narrative, but prices are going up. And it has a lot to do with this insane, irrational, irresponsible spending. Number four. In one of the most insane talking points of the left, if you don't vote for Democrats, you're racist. That is that is the talking point. And you ain't black. They try to push this hate. They feel this hate. And they try to tell their followers that half of America hates them, which is not true. But the people they vote for, like Joe Biden, this is the kind of stuff he says. The, uh, the other part, portion is a lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community, in the Hispanic and the African-American community, particularly in uh, 
uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts know how to use, know how to get online to determine how to get in line for that COVID vaccination at the, at the Walgreens or at, at, at the particular... Too stupid to use the internet? That's what you think of these groups of people, Joe? And here's something else you said. The data shows young black entrepreneurs are just as capable of succeeding given the chance as white entrepreneurs are. But they don't have lawyers, they don't have they they, they don't have accountants, but they have great ideas. Does anyone doubt this whole nation would be better off? Don't have lawyers, don't have accountants, can't use the internet. Were you supposed to say this? Is this what you really think? Or can you clarify here? Number three, on top of all of these brain blips and all of these Freudian slips, if you want to say, Joe has been making stuff up more than usual. Uh, for example, stuff like this. Peak Biden story. POTUS is now regaling the LA Dodgers at the White House with a story about him at the second congressional baseball game when he says he hit the ball 368 feet off the right center field wall. My kids remember that, he adds. The problem with that, though, is he didn't do that. That, that was made up, and there's proof of it. Biden's second congressional baseball game would have been in 1974. Did he really hit a 368-foot shot? No, he went 0 for 2, and this is documented in the newspapers. Just making stuff up, Joe. And this is not the only time you did this this year. You did this where you said you were a truck driver. And anyway, and if we I don't do drive an 18 wheeler, man. Yeah. Oh, I wish oh, I yeah. could. <laughs> That's I awesome. got to. <laughs> I used to drive an 18 wheeler, man. When? Joe, you're a career politician. And when asked about this, this is how your White House tried to defend you. But when challenged by Fox News to produce evidence, a White House spokesperson could only point to a December 1973 article from the Wilmington Evening Journal that showed Biden rode in an 18-wheeler. Not that he drove one. You didn't use to drive an 18-wheeler, Joe. And on top of these two lies, your grandpop, your granddaddy, he was not a coal miner. But you kept saying this. Look at the, you said it again here. He did work. My dad used to say, Joey, and I swear to God, when he left Scranton, when coal died, my dad was not a, was he was a salesperson. He wasn't a coal miner. My great grandpa was, but. Your great grandpa, your great grandpa was a coal miner. And even the Washington Post, they had to fact check you. Fact check by the Washington Post, incorrect. Isn't it funny how they label his false statements as incorrect and not false? It's weird how they those subtle little tiny spins. Incorrect, Joe. Your grandpa was not a coal miner. Quit making stuff up. And I don't know if this is just you, the politician, or if this is just your current state making stuff up. Maybe you really think this. I don't know. If you do, that's bad. It's bad either way. You're lying or your brain's imagining things. Number two. On to my two favorite gaffes of the year. The most viral gaffes in probably his whole career. Very embarrassing for the entire country, especially this one here. When in November, Joe was at the COP26 events representing the country, he fell asleep. And there's video of this. Here's him falling asleep on America's behalf. The aides had to come in and save him. Oh, that's embarrassing. He's representing you guys well. All of us Americans. Oh, he's just doing a great job. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Number one. On to the most viral Biden blunder of the year. In this moment right here.
Someone help the poor guy up the stairs. That's abuse. Come on. And this gaff here, it brought with it some of the best memes of the entire year. But my favorite meme out of this was this meme right here. Kamala Harris watching Joe Biden trip up the stairs. Hmm. She's just waiting. She's just waiting for her chance. <laughs> How'd you do in today's video? Did you cringe at all? Did you cringe at Biden in 2021? Arguably one of the most embarrassing years uh, I can remember as an American. Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about Joe doing this on a world stage? Do other countries, does Russia, does China, do they take us seriously? Do they even see us as a power anymore, a dominant threat? I mean, you really truly have to ask this at this point. And how do you feel about having a guy representing you falling asleep at stuff like this and about the media fairly covering his situation? Let me know in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. What, what, what? For the children. Idiots.